Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the NEC PC FX. Now there's about 60 games created for the PC FX and they're all in Japanese, but there are some good games that you can play without knowing a lick of any other language at all. I've had at least nine people message me on Facebook and YouTube asking me to show them how to do this. So we're going to go over this today. It's fairly simple. We're going to be using RetroArch and the Modafinil PC FX Core. First thing you're going to need, and one of the most important things, is the PC FX BIOS. Now, when you get a PC FX BIOS, it's going to look something like this. We need to rename it. So we're going to right click, rename. We're going to name it PCFX.ROM. Press enter. Yes, you would like to change the file extension to .rom. And that's it. You can see the size of the BIOS here. So now that you have the BIOS out of the way, the next thing you're going to need are some PCFX games. Now I've put all of my games in the same folder, just makes it easier to import them. You're gonna get a bin and a Q file for each game and they should have matching names. So battleheart.bin, battleheart.q. We're gonna be importing the Q files if you leave them all in the same folder like this, it's so much simpler. Down in the description, I've created a text file. We're going to be using RetroArch. So our associated platform is NEC PC FX. Default command line parameter. This will lead us to the Modafinil core that we're going to download. So go ahead and download that. Now we're going to open up our LaunchBox directory. Mine is under my C drive users ETA prime launch box my retro arch emulator is in my emulator folder so I'm going to go to retro arch we'll find systems and we need to drop the BIOS in here so our PC FX BIOS needs to go right in our system folder we're going to back up we'll take our games and place them in our games folder that's located in our LaunchBox directory. So games, just gonna drop this whole folder right in here. We need to launch RetroArch one time so we can download the emulator core. So we'll just go into our RetroArch directory, retroarch.exe. Scroll down to online updater, core updater. We're gonna scroll all the way down until we see the PCFX Core. So this is PC FX, Beetle PC FX. Press enter to download. And we can now exit RetroArch. Let's go ahead and start LaunchBox. So like I said, we're going to be using RetroArch to run these PC FX games. If you don't already have it set up, Jason and Brad have created really awesome tutorials. Links are in the description. If you already have RetroArch set up, let's get started. First thing we're going to do is go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. This is the ROM wizard. Click Next. We're going to Add Files. Now we're going to navigate to our LaunchBox directory where we placed our NEC PCFX games. In the search bar, we're just going to type in .q because we want to load the Q files up. Now you can select all of your games. You can also press Control A to select everything in the folder. Click Next. Next. Platform for imported ROMs. We're going to find the NEC PCFX. Next. Choose an emulator. From the drop down menu, I'm going to choose RetroArch, but I also need to edit it. Associated platforms. Scroll to the bottom here, and we need to add the PCFX core. So the link in the description contains NEC PCFX RetroArch.txt. Go ahead and download that, open it up. So our associated platform will be NEC PCFX, copy, paste. Under our default command line parameter, 
We're going to copy everything from the minus L all the way to the last quotation here. This is the modafin core that we're going to be using. Copy. Paste. Make sure you check the box. Click OK and Next. I'm going to use the files in their current location because I've already moved them to my LaunchBox games directory. You can search for and download metadata from Wikipedia, but the LaunchBox games database works just as well. Would you like to download images for your games? Yes. If there's something in here you don't want, like some fan art or a screenshot, you can always unselect it here, but I leave everything checked. Next. If you don't have an EMU Movies account, I definitely recommend going over to EMU Movies, signing up. You can get a free account, or if you donate, you can unlock some extra perks, but it's definitely worth doing. Same thing with the EMU Movies. If there's something you don't want in here, screenshots, a floppy disk, clear logos, go ahead and uncheck them. Everything stays checked for me. Click Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for the NEC PCFX emulator. Click Next. So here are the games I'm importing, the name of the game, the file location, and the extension. Make sure they are .q. You need to import the Qs and not the bins. Click Finish. It's going to download all of our metadata and artwork for these games. Give it a little while to finish up. My five games were imported successfully. Click OK. Over in the left hand column, we should now have an NEC PC FX option. So here are our games. If you've set everything up correctly, all you need to do is double click on a game. So we now have PCFX up and running within LaunchBox using RetroArch. I have a wired Xbox One controller connected. It's already set up. My FPS is listed in the lower left-hand corner, and I've had a few people talk about the low performance of this emulator. I've had really good luck on the machine that I'm using right now and my lower-end machine. It has an i3 with an HD 4400 GPU, and it runs perfectly. As you might notice, a lot of the stuff's in Japanese, but these are the type of games that we can play without reading the text at all. I've counted about eight games that are definitely worth having and worth playing without knowing Japanese. Now with any game that you can't read the text, um, you're just gonna have to kind of figure it out on your own or do a little bit of Google searching, find out how the game is supposed to be played. So right now, this is a game I've been working on for a little while, I've been playing it, and I'm actually a little stuck. I have not done any Google searches, I just started playing the game. And as far as I can tell, it's kind of like the old Mario. I just have to knock everybody out, I guess. Either way, there are some other great games. I'm going to go ahead and exit this one. Battle Heart. I'm going to start this. I'll just do a free battle. This is a fighting game here. I'm going to use the old guy, face off against the King Arthur looking dude. So if you've ever messed around with Daphne and games like that, you might notice a similarity here. These are kind of pre-made videos and you just press a button to fight. So I'm trying to knock this dude out right now. Throw a little laser ball at him. A little lightning flash. But these are pretty cool to add to your collection. 
I actually enjoy having this in my launch box set up. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe to the Launchbox channel because we have a lot of great content on the way. If you guys need any help with the PC FX emulator, let me know in the comments below and I'll try my hardest to get to you. I have a few other tutorials in the works for the next two weeks, but if you want to see something, leave a comment down below and let me know what tutorial you would like to see next. Like always, thanks for watching.